tell me about your dream while you do this? <laughs> oh, there's one for the scrapbook. Let's get that developed. Hurry on back. Hold on. I gotta... <laughs> you gotta concentrate? Get co I'm concentrating here. <laughs> I really enjoy, though, that I took a picture of this man with the swimsuit on, and then I get a good picture, and then... Miller laughs and goes, oh man, that's one for the scrapbook. <laughs> it's like he knows. He knows about our project. Yeah. Um, so I had a dream that felt... It didn't start out this way. At first, I was at college. And I don't know what type of class it was, but... Uh, we had to have some homework done or something. And... I was like, I had been putting it off, and I was in class, and she mentioned it, and then she's like, it's due two days from today. I was like, oh shit, that's right, this class ends two weeks earlier than all my other ones. <laughs> and it was this weird assignment where you had to draw out a diagram of this thing, and it was, uh, the diagram the I had to draw out was of uh, a monster, and it, it was like in, as if this monster was a real thing, documented. Like, and, like it's anatomy and whatnot? Yeah, and <laughs> okay. it was, um... It is a monster that uh, does not have a body. It is a spirit. And, uh... But what it does is it slowly... If it finds you or chooses you, it slowly drains your life until you become, like, a shriveled-up corpse. And while it's draining out your life, um... It starts slowly just somewhere like in a hidden spot that it chooses it just starts growing your body parts until it becomes you <laughs> it's just like in a random place like a leg will just start growing and that's part of you and he's like stealing it from you by sucking your life out mm -hmm. um so I was I had to draw a diagram of this monster that was just a spirit but I like had a drawing that was like a sketch of a really long spindly arm that was all gross looking and then there's just like a lapse in the dream where I just I just forgot it. You know, it's just one of those types of parts of a dream that you just instantly forget when you wake up. Right. But then there was a part where it basically became an episode of the X-Files because I wasn't in the dream anymore. It was like my that spooky bit with me was like the cold opening for the episode or something. <laughs> except nothing terrible, except nothing terrible happened to me. I just had to draw this weird thing that steals people's bodies somehow. Um, but there was a character that was like Scully, but there wasn't any Mulder at all. <laughs> so, so there's no one believing the weird stuff? Yeah. Okay. There's nobody believing the weird stuff. And like there's this whole bit where it's like her and a couple <laughs> other people have been chosen by the weird spirit thing. And, like, a bunch of the other people died, but for some reason the spirit thing couldn't use their bodies, so then it picks the lady that is like Scully and looks kind of like her, but she was not Scully. And it was this weird bit, like, the rest of the dream was just, like, her figuring out that the spirit was, like, sucking out her life force and growing her somewhere else, and... At some point, she figures it out, and she's, like, trying to figure out where her, like, doppelganger self is being grown. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, it's just, like, a random, um, it's, like, a lab in a college. Or, like, um, like, there's just one of those mobile desks that has a laptop and a projector and all that crap in it. <laughs> and he's just growing it underneath it. <laughs> but it's, like, um... She she finds like doppelganger being grown and it's just her face that has been grown so far. It's just lying on the floor. That's gross. Um, and it's it was really gross because it's like it wasn't just like her face or something. It was just like her face and it was like the face was already conscious and awake <laughs> and like looking around and stuff. And it's like it looked more like it was like a living face, but it was like in the shape of a mask. So like when you pick it up. It wasn't like if you flip the face over, it was all gross gore, like, inside of a face. It was just, like, smooth skin mm -hmm. or something, and, like, she finds it, and she says, you know, like, aha, I got you, you son of a bitch, whatever. <laughs> I found the stupid face of me that you are growing while sucking out my life force, and also, like... Sounds exactly like Skelly. 
<laughs> but like she's already getting like like kind of like shriveled up looking mm-hmm. like kind of like she hasn't eaten in weeks um and she finds this face and she's gonna f- like she's figured out how to like reverse it or something so she just puts this face that is her own face on this desk and she's gonna do whatever she needs to do and then the spirit says something I don't remember what exactly it says I for- just forgot that part but it, it was he was basically saying like haha you can't get me eat this and then while she's like trying to do whatever procedure she needs to do to the face her f- face on the desk like starts screaming and then it's and then it like starts swelling up like if dude's face was like in space without a helmet on Mm -hmm. like the eyeballs swell up but then like the the camera looks away so it's inferred that like the eyeballs like pop and shit and it like some of the white i'm glad your brain spared you of that i know it's so weird (laughs) that that, but that there were like camera angles the whole time like it was an actual tv show like my mind like cut away like the instant the eyeballs pop and like some of the eyeball whites like fly in her face (laughs) gross this sounds horrifying and, yeah like i'm saying this would have been like really scary if it wasn't presented like a 90s tv show <laughs> <laughs> um and so then she just starts screaming and it's like a bad ending for the show because then it's like a fade to black it actually faded to black and then it like showed what happened to her and it's like so like this panning shot and it shows like the certificate that says she's been deemed insane <laughs> and then there's this, this part here, and she's just in a straight jet jacket, and she's just screaming and screaming and screaming. After her face, like, exploded in front of her face. <laughs> I think I'd go insane watching that, too. Uh, and then I woke up, like, immediately after that, and then I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, one really creepy, th- one part about the dream that actually did really creep me out. Mm-hmm. Was um like when she's screaming a whole bunch when she's in like, in after she's gone insane, like you know how sometimes when you have a dream and you can like you're kind of aware that you're having a dream by a certain point, or if you're like half asleep but you're still somewhat conscious of what your body is feeling. Yeah. Uh, when she was screaming, I could feel myself like making the screaming motion in real life. Like, when you scream, like, your stomach tightens up. Yeah. And you, like, like I was doing that, but I wasn't actually screaming. So weird, you know, I dude. Was, I was doing, like, a silent scream because she was screaming. That creeped me out a bunch. Yeah. That's super weird. So that, that was my dream. Hooray! Did you go back to All sleep right. after that? No, I got up and I ate uh, waffles. 